if after April 22nd, because Facebook, Meta, Instagram is changing their terms so that it won't allow you to use Zoom to go straight into, say, a Facebook group. But there is a workaround. So first of all, what, what I wanted you to do is go, say, for example, to the group. So if I'm going to go live here, I would go to discussion as if I'm going to go live. Okay, here we go. Go live. And then click go live again. Now it's going to bring you to this screen where you have to choose and normally you would just go right here with the camera, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go for streaming software. And then we're going to go down and click down here. And first of all, you're going to copy what's called the server URL. See right here, the RTMPS. We're going to copy that. Now we're going to go over to Zoom. And inside Zoom, you're going to go down to settings. And you want to make sure that in your settings, just put in search stream once you're in your settings. And it'll bring up these, allow live streaming meetings. You want to make sure the custom live streaming service is checked off here. Okay, now let's go back over to meetings and we're going to go here and what happens is that it's going to, we're going to go live. So when I click on this, it's going to open up and then what happens here, you open up and I'll show you a screenshot of this. See right here, the option is live on custom live streaming service. So that's what you want to click instead of going live on Facebook. So I'm going to go back to here and I am going to uh, go back to my Zoom. Where's my Zoom? Let's go back into Zoom. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go live on custom streaming. And then what happens is it opens up into preparing to live stream this meeting. Sometimes this happens when you go, it says unable lives, you update the streaming URL streaming key. So we're going to do that right now. And we're going to put this new one in. And now we're going to go back to our Facebook and copy the stream key next. Go back to here. And now we're going to put the stream key in. And then here just asks you for a streaming page. I just put my YouTube channel. Don't click off this part. It says custom streaming service requires authentication. Just go live. Now we're still not live, but it's still preparing. Okay, so now it just opens up the page that I had put there, which is, you know, doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go live on Facebook. So now I'm going to go back here and you can see that I'm live on here. However, I'm not live. You see over here. So I need to update post details. So I'm going to go here, instructions, uh, test again as I give instructions. And I'm going to just copy that and go live right here. <clears throat> and I'm going to save that. So once I do that, it should complete. So it completes the post details. Now it says go live, right? So the only thing left for me to do is actually go live. So I'm going to go live right now inside the Facebook group. And here I am live. It says I'm live, right? So I am now live. So now I'm live. So I'm going to post a video instructions how to do this using the SMTP, whether you use, whether you use Zoom or you use your StreamYard to be able to do that. Okay, so now all you have to do now is you just either end the live video or you can go back and just simply end the, click that, and the Zoom. And that ended the live stream as well. And then you can also here, you can actually edit that. You can trim your video if you want to. So I'm actually going to trim it. It says 32 minutes, 32 seconds. Yeah, so I can trim that if I want. See, I just want it to start when I'm trim. There. All right. That's how you can go live now in Facebook groups 
or in other places using Zoom or your StreamYard. It's the same for any platform, but this is kind of a workaround. So uh, we're not stopped from doing it, even though Meta wants to prevent us from doing it. Hope that helps.